Welcome back to the another video of Cricket Thrills. Sir Vivian Richard is born on 7th March 1952 in Antigua. He is a retired cricketer who represented the West Indies cricket team between 1974 till 1991, batting generally at number 3 in a dominant West Indies side. Richard is widely regarded as one of the greatest batsmen of all time. Let's watch the innings of Viv Richards 110 runs of 178 balls including 13 fours and 1 six against India in the fourth test match of the series played at Kingston on April 28 till May 3 1989. Six and in comes Viv Richards. What a testing time it is for this great player. Very few runs in the series. Oof. And see how they crowd him. No mercy. They know that he'd be nervous. This he got a thin bottom edge on this, which is why there was so much excitement around the pitch. Difficult one for the wicketkeeper to take, and uh, he didn't. And luckily for Viv, he's still there. 95 for three. West Indies and replied at 289 by India. And this time Richards finds the gap, and that's much more like it. Hasn't been in fine form, as Tony said. He's got a grin on his face, and he, no wonder because this was more like vintage Richards. Strong shoulders, and look at the way in which he smites that. Yes, ripped away there by Richards. Not a very good ball by Ayu, but severely punished. It's starting to look a bit ominous for India now because Viv is starting to play really well after an uncertain start. And an indication of why he's reckoned to be the world's number one. Just short of a length, and hit like a rocket off the bowling of Ayu. And that's in the air, but massively safe. That might well be six. First bounce four. Just lost sight of that from the commentary box. Again, this one's going slightly down the leg side. So strong on that side of the wicket, Viv. A perfect, majestic shot. Well played by Richards. Played it down, just short of slip. A bit of a risk. And as a redeemed man who wins and bears it, no chance. Again, the top hand holding the ball down. Was close. That was uh, padded up by Richards. I'm surprised he let that one go. Lucky for him, it bounced over the top of the stumps in terms of height. Keppel Dares bowled well this morning, 186 for three. But Richards is getting set now. That's I oh, bowled a beautiful shot. Open the face of the bat. Shastri's down at long off, but Viv directed that. Just ten yards or so wider. Hit with colossal power, this beautiful footwork, right off the middle of the bat. It really has drawn a capacity crowd in today. But Capper really on top form, I think, Peter. Indeed, he's wearing this man. It's one great all-rounder to one of the finest players the world's ever seen. That's a beautiful shot. Crashes against the Kingston Pavilion, the Kingston Club, and uh, Richards has looked in trouble. And yet, when he's played his shots, the ball has flown for four. Strange combination. Lovely stroke. It'd be interesting to see if Richards can make a hundred because no West Indian captain. That's your Kingston Cricket Club. Ayu, short, chopped savagely by Richards. Ayu has been the most successful spinner. 
in, on both sides, and yet his line and length vary so much, it, it's, it's <laughs> extraordinary really, that a high quality spin bowler can bowl as bad a ball as that. I still wonder about the silly point field I put in there, how intimidating it is for the bowler as much as for the batsman. I should think the field is thinking the same thing, Tony. <laughs> Your whole life tends to pass in front of you when you see the bat flail like And maybe this man to a hundred. Shastri. Full toss and it's just timing. No real effort, was there? Just timing. Just enough. They love Viv Richards here. He really is a god to them. Oh, bad shot. Is he out? Is he stumped? More is out of the picture. He was running somebody's direction. The umpire says no. Well, that is interesting. That means that Richard swung around and got the bat back first. Well, judge for yourselves whether he did that. If he did, he must have terrific bat speed. Morris on the way back to the stumps, and it's impossible to tell who won that race. But if there's any doubt at all, the laws of the game say that it must go in favor of the batsman. And so the batsman, Viv Richards, is still there, and not far off 100 now. That was a bad shot. That was a brilliant shot. Wonderful shot. Down the pitch, through the covers. Is it, as I say, a strange combination of hesitant defense and then bludgeoning attack? Commitment to the stroke is truly wonderful to see. 228 for three and a tough time out there for India. Well, there we are, that's uh, the faltering Richards. Seventy-one runs behind West Indies, but they've got a lot of wickets in hand. Uh, Richards doesn't miss many of those. He is 37 though, maybe the old powers are just starting to wane. Then cut it on Beautiful stroke by Richards. It's very high. I don't think it'll carry. Perhaps caught up a bit there in the wind. It has. No, it hasn't. It's been flipped back by Capital Dev and they take three. 240 for three. This is Shastri. Thundering straight drive. And that beats his man on the boundary. Well, how extraordinary. He must have been standing quite wide there, Ashad Ayub. Just a plain off drive for a simple four. When you think how hard he's hitting the ball, from the time it leaves the bat till the time it gets to the boundaries. Oh, that might have got Richards. It went very low. For once he accepts some help from Kieran Moore. Viv smiling, but he's obviously anxious as he gets near that coveted hundred. He really wants this hundred. And so does this crowd want him to get it, but just settle the critics. I am swept away by Richards, that goes fine. Just look how fast it goes. No chance for Azaruddin to catch that. Sorry. Swung away by Richards. Six runs. They love it, the first one of the day. Well, he's in full flow now, the West Indian captain. After a very shaky start, he knew that this was his last chance to make runs in this series, probably. One more innings to come after this. And he's now playing this morning like he used to. Mistake, three wickets down. Chitin Sharma to bowl. Driven by Richards, and that's Richards 100. He needs three. He'll get two, and Shastri turns, and yes, the third comes up, and Vivian Richards. Look at the crowd. Look at Richards. Wonderful occasion here for them to see their great hero.
They never had any doubts about him, did they, Peter? None at all. I wonder if he had any doubts about himself. If so, he certainly answered it. He stole the number one and proved it with a fabulous innings here today. Twelve falls, a six, two seventy-seven minutes, one hundred and sixty-seven balls, and uh, confirming his position to the other side of mid-on. Cheetan Sharma. Oh, that's vicious! It's positively savage that pull shot by Vivrijans. One hundred and ten years now. That nicks, nicks a pad, nicks the bat. They all go up. Veng Sarkar at slip. Kieran Morey. And the umpire, David Archer, sees that Viv Richards thinks he's not out and goes across the square leg. Now you go across the square leg, Peter, I think, just to see if the ball actually carried to the keeper. Absolutely. They're just confirming that or denying it. What's going to happen? He's out. He's out. Let's take a look again. Richards playing the shot, the square cut, the ball coming through. The pad goes up. It nicks the pad. It looked very much as if he got no back to it at all. We can't really tell from here. Nobody's too interested. Capel, I think, is starting to raise his hands because he thought it was pretty close to the off stump. But uh, the umpire's the one that counts. And oh, what have we got here? Well, we've got a bottle throwing incident. Let's hope that's the only one. It's uh, a shame if this is going to deteriorate into something which could be an international incident. We've got half a dozen men on the ground at the moment, including two police officers trying to placate the crowd who are incensed by what they feel is a wrong dismissal of Richards. But I must admit, didn't help matters by indicating the wicket keeper, Moray, he's Richards going back in the pavilion, having taken his pads off, come out to see what's happening. Uh, having indicated the wicket keeper, Moray, he didn't think he edged it. Yes, it was the Richards uh, demonstration probably that started it all off. Number of bottles thrown, 27. Difficult to judge that because most of them splintered on landing. And Viv, who probably started it all, is now finishing it all, hopefully. Asking for peace, asking for understanding. I mean, the umpire's decision is final in our game, even for him. You know, if you can lip read, but I think he's trying to say to them, let's get on with the game. And Clive Lloyd just talking to Richie Richardson, who stayed out in the middle, telling him not to let his concentration waver as Viv sets off back into the pavilion. Hopefully the job's been done and we'll get underway. We've had, what, nearly 25, 26 minutes play uh, stopped as a result of that incident. Well, it never really got nasty, but it, uh, you, you can never tell. His strength for on the front foot so far forward could be he get that he was able to plant that left foot outside the line of stumps, at once eliminating LBW and creating his own leg stumps line from where he would flick ballers relentlessly through mid-wicket or he might send a similar ball skimming through extra cover. Straighten the ball down the line of the stumps and the baller stood a chance, but he rarely missed and they ran a terrible risk. His power was awesome. He hooked devastatingly and never wore a helmet, rocking back from his front foot base to take the ball from his eye line in front of the square. Occasionally, for no apparent reason, he would block an hour in immaculate fashion, seemingly in defensive position before the ball had left the baller's hand. Then refreshed off, he would go again. Wevan Richard made his test debut in 1974 against India along with Gordon Greenwich. His past years were between 1976 and 1983, where he averaged a remarkable 66.5 with the bat in test cricket. In 1984, he suffered an eye surgery, which affected his eyesight and reflexes as well. 
Although he remained the best batsman in world for next four years and averaged over 50 in those four years, as well until the decline in last couple of years, where he averaged just 36. Overall, Viv Richards scored 8,540 runs in 121 test matches at an average of 50.23, including 24 centuries. He also scored 1,281 runs in the World Series cricket with 5 tons at an average of over 55, which was regarded as highest and most difficult cricket ever played. As a captain, he won 27 test matches of 50 and lost only 8 test matches. He also scored nearly 7,000 runs in One Day International and more than 36,000 runs in First Class Cricket. He was knighted for his contribution to cricket in 1999. In 2000, he was voted one of the Wisdom's Five Cricketer of the Century by a 100-member panel of experts and in 2002, the Almanac judged that he had played the best one-day international innings of all time. In December 2002, he was chosen by Wisden as the greatest one-day international batsman who played to that date and as the third greatest test cricketer batter. In 2009, Viv Richard was inducted into the ICC Cricket Hall of Fame. In October 2013, Wisden selected the best test team across 150 years of test history and slotted Viv Richards at number 3 position. He was the only batsman of post-era war along with Sachin Tendulkar to get featured in that team. If you like this video, please comment, share and subscribe. Thank you very much.